So today we're going to be looking at lateral vaults, sometimes called lazy vaults or slide monkeys. And this is a vault that is going to get you over an obstacle to the side of you. It's a very energy efficient way to cross a variety of obstacles that you may encounter. So the lateral vaults work very well because they require very little energy to get over an obstacle. The fact that your hips are slightly in front of you when you do them and you're supporting yourself at all times on your hands, it's effectively just then a leg swing to carry you over the obstacle. They also allow you to exit the move with a lot of control because you've got both hands on the obstacle generally. So as you're coming off it, you can really control your descent and control your position as you hit the ground, which means it's, uh, it can be a very smooth and fluid way to pass an obstacle without any impact to the body. So to begin learning a lateral vault, you want to find an obstacle that's about waist height, roughly, not too much higher than that because if you're just practicing the movement, you want to find something you can move over fairly easily. Later on, you can build up the height. But for now, find something about waist height. Um, and we're going to come at it from our side. So rather than doing a, a frontal vault, which is where you're sort of jumping here or going forwards like that, this time we're going to be coming at it from the side, putting a hand on it, and we're going to find a way to go over. Okay? Now, there's lots of ways you can do this. And you can effectively use either leg can go first. Okay? They have different names. So the inside leg is sometimes known as a lazy vault. The outside leg is sometimes known as a slide monkey. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that the movement is roughly the same and that you're controlling yourself with your hands as you pass the obstacle. So probably the simplest way to get is to put the near, your nearest hand on the, on the obstacle and your nearest leg is going to be, this is what's going to swing up and over first. Okay? So this leg is going to swing and on the upswing, it's going to carry you up and over the obstacle. And that momentum, to begin with, is going to do all the work. And as you go, you're simply going to pass your weight to your back hand. So you're going to be doing this swing, and then when you feel comfortable with it, you just let the leg go, and you come over the wall. And it's the momentum of the swing that is going to carry you over. So the back hand, the back hand, my outside hand, is merely coming in and taking the position of this hand. So my weight is supported here, and then it's supported here with this hand. It's all to help control the movement and to help control the descent as well. It's not really about strength it's, um, or, or power or anything like that. It's more about the movement of the body, momentum, and just being able to carry yourself over an obstacle with that momentum. That's why it's very efficient. So the leg swing is doing all the work for me. As I come in for the movement, as I'm stepping into it, the leg swing is doing all the work for me. It's got to swing and get my hips up high. So this movement got to let your hips come up a bit and be confident with that. So there are many variations of a lateral type vault and the one that works best for me is known as the slide monkey and it's basically using the outside leg rather than the inside leg to do the swing. So the slide monkey or outside leg vault is effectively the same but what we're going to do is we're going to swing this leg as we come in this leg is going to swing up and over rather than the inside leg. So the hand, it's the same grip in the hand and what we're going to do is we're going to swing this leg and throw that leg over and then this leg is just going to come out of the way, it just tucks out of the way. So it's exactly the same movement, swing the leg, and then when you're comfortable, you're going to swing from back here and just come over. Okay, so it's the outside leg, the leg that's furthest from the wall, that carries me over the obstacle. So the aim now is to put some movement into the vault to take off from further back. Okay, so we're coming at it diagonally, we're just going to keep going. And when we land, the aim is to land on one foot and step out of the moves. That means you just keep moving in the direction you're going. So you start back here, step in. And of course, you're looking for a soft landing, a soft takeoff, trying to be as quiet as you can. Try to keep some momentum, try to keep the movement. Rather than stopping at the wall and landing and then moving on, try to make it one movement unbroken from the run-up to the finish of the vault. Another very important point, for this sort of vault, for the slide monkey especially, we're going to try and put our hips forwards a little bit. We're going to try and push the hips out, use the leg to push out. This is going to give me more distance when I exit the vault. Okay? And it means I stay very close to the obstacle rather than wasting energy going high. So the real key point with the lateral vaults is to try to use your energy and the momentum of your movement to carry you over the obstacle, rather than power or strength for this one. Swinging one leg, inside or outside, it's up to you. Choose which one works for you the best. It's good to get a handle on both of them because different situations are going to require uh, different legs to go first. That leg, you're going to swing it up and over, transition to your back hand and control the descent. Okay, the key point is to have a very nice, relaxed takeoff and swing the leg, and the exit has to be nice, soft, try to land on one foot and step out and keep moving.